I need to feel that I'm worth something. And this makes me feel like I'm worth something. I'm Ari Carpell with Time. Today I'm in Las Vegas at the home of Mike Tyson. The former undisputed heavyweight champ's passion for racing pigeons is the focus of Animal Planet's reality show, Taking on Tyson. Mike, thanks hey, so Ari. much for having us to your home. It's a pleasure to be here with you. <laughs> a reader in Venice, California wants to know what makes a good fighter? You know, a good fighter is not necessarily the greatest fighter ever lived, it's what, where you want to go. You know what I mean? Um, a good fighter just to be diligent and committed and discipline, doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it, you know, always testing yourself and forcing yourself to the limits, you know. If you know you um, like, uh, if you love women, then deny yourself that, you know what I mean? That's what, um, that's what um, success in general is all about, sacrifice. From my experience, of any little success I may have had, just be willing to sacrifice, you know. Um, unfortunately, sometimes you can't have fun accomplishing your goals. And when sometimes people um, don't have the, um, the determination, the will, and uh, the steadfastness, the tenacity, they, um, they give in under the slightest struggle. The toughest guys um, we know, um, think um, you hear the old guys, they're the toughest last longest. No, that's not true. This is not a tough man, a tough guy world. This is a smart man's world. Tough guys are going to get hurt in this world, you know. They're, 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 um, they're dinosaurs now. These tough, psycho bad guys, they're not going to last now. It's the 21st century. A reader in Arubo asks, what do you feel in your heart after knocking out an opponent? Um, it's job accomplished. You know, this is something you practice over the uh, eight-week period. and. Um, when you accomplish it, it's just like job accomplished. I trained for that knockout. So sometimes um, if I, um, when I was a kid and I had my mentor custom model, so if I knocked the guy out, I would jump up in there and be excited, yeah, yeah. And he would be angry and say, what are you excited for jumping around for? What's wrong with you? He said, um, why you act, like, you act like this is luck? Like, um, you've been doing this for eight weeks. You, you anticipated this happening. Why are you acting so surprised that it happened when you participated in happening for eight weeks? Anything different um, would be a failure. A reader in Italy asks, what would you have done differently? Do you have any advice for young celebrities? Always um, be premeditated in your life. We can't yell at someone. We lost the privilege um, to be what you call a celebrity, a person of the world. We lost the... Um, the luxury to um, curse someone out in public or anything, you know, if they got on your nerves, or this became overbearing. So we lose all these beautiful little cute trinkets, you know, when we get this, whoever they call us, beautiful people, um, smucks, uh, phony people, whatever, whatever it is, you know. But what I realized in life, what I wanted to say to him is that I always thought the more I require was I became a bigger man because I required so much and I, I had so much. But what I found out in life, as life goes on, life is about losing. As we get older, we lose our hair, we lose our teeth, we lose our mothers, our fathers, our sisters. And, um, but it's the ones who overcome, they're lost in life and um, could shun away adversity and always willing to fight it every, every particular moment in life are the ones that are able to transcend and be able to spread the world to other people who's in that same particular gender as they are. Do you think it's more important to be respected or feared? I would like to be respected. Respect is more powerful than love, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, but how many people out of the obligation of love, Machiavelli, out of the obligation of love, have we hurt? Just think about it. Everybody that's listening to me, just think out of the obligation of love, this is my sister, my brother, my girlfriend, that I cheated on, my boyfriend who, I didn't tell him everything, or else he shouldn't have knew this is not his child, or whatever the situation may be, you know what I mean? We just have to know um, this is what it is, you know what I mean? Some people can get by with just being respected, some people get high off of being feared. Jeff from Laguna Niguel, California asks... That's an awesome neighborhood, right? That's an awesome neighborhood, I love that neighborhood. When will we see you again on the big screen? And we have a um, production company called Tyrannic, and we're working on a project. Um, I wish I could tell you, but hopefully with HBO, we're working on a project. And um, it's just going to really um, 
you know, God willing, um, a lot of things are going to happen. That is, you know, I mean, it's going to be pretty good, you know, and I'm just, I'm just very grateful. Well, well, yeah, what I'm trying to convey is gratitude. I'm just really happy everything happened. Cause, you know, I was really, uh, I was, I was really on drugs and doing real bad and having nothing at first, and I don't know, one day, just boom, something happened. You know, maybe my daughter died, and that's what happened. It just, things changed. I don't know who, I, who that guy was no more. And it's just really, it's really bizarre, you know? I was just raising hell, um, just chasing people. I was just chasing the whole strip club. Just, just doing really crazy stuff, and um, I just knew it was time to just try to grow up a little bit. Um, just, the maturity was just out of whack, so I just, um, I don't know, I made this um, commitment with myself that I'm going to be, um, I'm going to suit up and boot up, come to work, at least ready to work, and just try to do the right thing. You know, I'm not going to harass my wife and treat my wife bad like I've done to my wife and girlfriends in the past. Everything has to be new, you know what I mean? I, I can't eat the food I used to eat. I have to change. Everything in my life has to change in order for me to be successful in this um, life I'm trying to live. And finally, what will people remember about Mike Tyson 50 years from now? 50 years? I don't know. That's the most destructive, ferocious fighting machine that God ever created. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, Mike, thank you so much. It's a pleasure, Arlen. Thank you, brother. Five, four, three, two, one, open. We're in another world up here. Joe, Joe, let it go! Mike better get ready. He's gonna get an ass whooping. We're not easy, Pickens. When you do something, you gotta do it 100%. We're gonna win because nobody wants to get hit by Mike.